Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to study chapter 1 of New Gulmohar of grade 8. The boy who broke the bank by Ruskin Bond. Now, Ruskin Bond is an Indian author of British descent. He was born on 19th May 1934 at Kasoli in Himachal Pradesh. He now lives in Landor, Missouri. Let us look at his famous novels, The Room on the Roof, The Night Train at Bioli, Time Stops at Shamli, Our Tree Still Grows in Dehra, The Flight of Pigeons, The Blue Umbrella. He has written more than 40 books for children. He has won several awards to name a few, John Lelwyn Riss Memorial Prize for The Room on the Roof in the year 1957, Sahitya Academy Award for Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra in the year 1992, he also won the Padma Shri for Children's Literature in 1999 and the Padma Bhushan Award in 2014. Now let us look at this. What is this children? See, a person is texting, few people are speaking, a man is talking to another man and a lady is speaking something in another lady's ears. Let us see what is this. Yes, you are right. News, gossip and rumor. So how these are harmful for our life and how the rumors spread like the wildfire, we are going to study the consequence of that in this story. Nathu, the sweeper boy, grumbled to himself as he swept the steps of a small local bank owned by Seth Govind Ram, a man of wealth whose haphazard business dealings had often brought him to the verge of ruin. Now, grumbled means talking slowly to himself. A sweeper boy by the name Nathu. He talked to himself as he swept the steps of a small local bank. And who was the owner of that? Said Govind Ram. He was a man of wealth whose haphazard business dealings. Haphazard means unorganized and careless. Govind Ram business were careless and unorganized way had often brought him to the verge of ruin. Verge of ruin means almost at the point of losing all his money. Nathu used the small broom hurriedly and carelessly. This Nathu, by the action of brooming hurriedly and carelessly, we can feel that he was tensed. So what is the reason we are going to see? The dust after rising in a cloud above his head settled down again on the steps. Now, he was brooming the steps in such a hurried way that the dust after rising in a mist of cloud above his head was again settling down on the steps. So, there was no use of brooming as he banged his pan loudly against the dustbin. Banging means making sound. Sita Ram, the washerman's son, passed by. So, Nathu, he was busy brooming in a very careless way and banging his pan loudly against the dustbin. Then what happened? Sita Ram, the son of the washerman, passed by. Sita Ram was on his delivery round. Delivery round means he was going to deliver the washed and the ironed clothes. He had a bundle of freshly pressed clothes balanced on his head. Don't raise such dust. He called out to Nathu. Are you annoyed because they are still refusing to pay you another 5 rupees a month? So here we see that Sita Ram, he was having a bundle of pressed clothes and it was balanced properly on his head. He, he asked Nathu not to raise so much of dust and he also asked where, whether he was annoyed because they are still, they means the bank people. They are still refusing to pay you another 5 rupees a month. That is, are they still denying to pay you 5 rupees per month? I don't want to talk about it, complained the sweeper boy. 
Now the sweeper boy, when asked about his salary, he told to Sita Ram that he doesn't want to talk about it. I haven't even received my regular pay. Now instead of paying five rupees extra, he was not being paid his regular salary also. Soon two months pay will be due. Who would think this was a bank holding up a poor man's salary? Now when we come across the word bank, we know it is a very financially stable place and nobody, the people who are working under the bank will not be suffered. But here the case was opposite. Now two months would be due when Nathu did not receive his regular pay. Now who would think that the organization was a bank holding up, holding up means denying, not giving a poor man's salary. As soon as I get my money, I am off. I am off means I am going to leave this job. I will go from here. Not another week will I work in this place. And Nathu banged the pan against the dustbin several times. So once I get the salary, I will leave this place. Another week I won't stay here to serve this place. And Nathu started making the sound of the dustbin again by banging the pan. So till now children, we have seen by the activities of Nathu that he was not happy with his job. But the reason also is mentioned here that he was in a bad temper and he was looking out for another job probably because the bank had not paid him regularly. Now how does the speaker arouse our sympathy for him? Sita Ram is a washerman's son delivering pressed clothes to customers' houses. He carries such a huge bundle on his head that it hangs from his head and shoulders. Also he walks barefoot. So here we have a sympathy towards Sita Ram, well, I wish you luck, said Sita Ram, I'll be on the lookout for a new job for you. And he plodded barefoot. Plodded means walking slowly with difficulty because he was carrying something heavy. What was that heavy thing? He was carrying the bundle of clothes on his head. And therefore, we as a readers, we have sympathy towards Sita Ram that he was carrying such a heavy load and was walking barefoot and he plodded barefoot along the road the big bundle of clothes hiding most of his head and shoulders. At the fourth home he visited delivering the washing Sita Ram overheard the woman overheard means when someone talks very loudly and when you come across that speech unknowingly that is overhearing someone. Sita Ram overheard the woman of the house saying how difficult it was to get someone to sweep the courtyard. Tying his bundle, Sita Ram said, I know of a sweeper boy who is looking for work. He might be able to work for you from next month. He is with Sait Govind Ram's bank just now and they aren't giving him his pay and he wants to leave. Now here we can see children that he just told the truth that Nathu is not being paid by Sait Sita Ram's bank and he heard overheard the woman that she needed someone to sweep the courtyard. Trying to help his friend Nathu, Sita Ram came forward and he told the lady that he knew a person, a sweeper boy who was looking for job and also that he might be able to join from next month because he wants to leave the bank as they are not paying him his regular salary. Oh, is that so? said Mrs. Prakash. And why aren't they paying him? So Mrs. Prakash, when she came to know that Nathu is about to leave the job because he is not gain, getting salary, she asked the reason. They must be short of money, said Sita Ram with a shrug. Now shrug means a movement of one's shoulders up and down to show that he did, doesn't care or he doesn't know. So here comes the rumor of the story, an incomplete truth. They must be short of money. Never did Nathu say Sita Ram that bank is running short of money. So Sita Ram just to show interest in the new job and to show that he is very acquaintance, he is a very close acquaintance of 
Nathu, he told Mrs. Prakash that the bank people might be short of money. And he said with a shrug, shrug means as if he does not know uh, something or care. Mrs. Prakash laughed. Well, tell him to come and see me when he is free. Okay, then tell him and uh, to come and meet with me during his free time. Sita Ram, glad that he had been of help to both a customer and his friend, hoisted his bag on his shoulders and went on his way. Now, Sita Ram, he was very happy because he could help his friend, uh, he could help both his friend and a customer. Hoisted his bag on his shoulders, means he again kept the bag on his shoulders and went on his way. Soon after, Mrs. Prakash set out for the bazaar to make her usual afternoon tour of the cloth shops. A large shady tamarind tree grew near the clock tower. It was here that she found her friend, Mrs. Bhushan, sheltering from the heat. Now, every day Mrs. Prakash used to go to the bazaar, that is the market, to make her usual afternoon tour. Tour means every day afternoon routine. Her schedule was to go to the market to visit the cloth shops every day afternoon. There was a large shady tamarind tree growing near the clock tower of the market and it was there beneath the tamarind tree that she found her friend. What was the name of the friend? Mrs. Bhushan taking shelter from the heat. Do you know my dear? Mrs. Prakash said that said Govind Ram's bank can't even pay his employees. Only this morning I heard a complaint from their sweeper boy who hasn't received his pay for two months. Now see how she had exaggerated the news to Mrs. Prakash. She said, do you know my friend that said, Sita, uh, said Govind Ram's bank can't even pay its workers. Employees means workers. This morning only I had come across a complaint from the sweeper boy who has not received his salary for two months. It's disgraceful. Disgraceful means unacceptable. Or you can say a task for whom one for which one can be ashamed about. It's disgraceful, exclaimed Mrs. Bhushan. If they can't pay the sweeper, they must be in a bad way. None of the others can be getting paid either. So, if they are not paying the sweeper, then that means they are really in a very bad financial condition. None of the others, others means none of the other customers can be getting paid either. None of the other customers as well as the employees will get salary. Mrs. Bhushan left Mrs. Prakash at the tamarind tree and went in search of her husband who was found sitting under the fan in Jugal Kishore's electrical goods shop talking with the owner. Now Mrs. Bhushan, as, as soon as she got the news from Mrs. Prakash, she left the company of Mrs. Prakash and went in search of her husband. And where was her husband? She found her husband sitting under the fan in the shop of the, in the, shop, in the electrical shop of Jugal Kishore and he was talking with the owner. So, there you are, cried Mrs. Bhushan. Cried means shouted. I have been looking for you for nearly an hour. I don't know what's happening to this town. Did you know the bank is going bankrupt? Now, bankrupt means without enough money to pay what they borrowed from others. Now, do you know the news? You are sitting here. I have been looking for you for half an hour. I don't know what is happening to this town. Do you know that our bank is going bankrupt? That means our bank cannot even pay. What did you say? Said Mr. Jugal Kishore, sitting up suddenly. Which bank? Now, this Mrs. Pra uh, Mrs. Bhushan, she was talking to her husband. But in the meanwhile, the owner, Mr. Jugal Kishore, he rose up and he interrupted asking, What did you say? Which bank? Why? Said Govind Ram's bank, of course. I hear they have stopped paying their employees. No salary for over three months. Don't tell me you have an account with them, Mr. Kishore. Now, when Mr. Jugal Kishore asked Mrs. Bhushan about the bank, she said, it's of course, said Govind Ram's bank. I have heard that they have stopped paying their employees. They don't have salary for three months. Now, don't tell me that you have an account with that bank. No, but my neighbor has. He said, 
and he called out to the keeper of the barber shop next door fayaz hussain have you heard the latest said gomind ram's bank is about to collapse you'd better take your money out while there is still time collapse means fail and lose all its money so when mrs bhushan asked jugal kishor whether he has an account with the bank he said no no i don't have but my neighbor has and saying this he called out called out means he spoke loudly calling out somebody's name to the keeper of the barber shop next door fayaz hussain have you heard the latest do you know the latest news said govind ram's bank is about to collapse about to close because it has lost all his money it is better that you take out the money from that bank while there is still time fayaz hussain who was cutting the hair of an elderly gentleman was so startled startled means surprised astonished wondered uh, that his hand shook and he nicked his customer's right ear nicked means made a small cut by accident not voluntarily by accident now fayaz hussain when he heard mr jugal kishor speaking loudly to him to take out the money from the bank when still time was there and he what he was doing he was a barber no so he was cutting the hair of an elderly gentleman but he was so surprised he was so shocked by the news that his hand shook and by mistake he cut a little bit of the customer's right ear the customer yelped with pain yelped means cried the shouted the customer shouted with pain and distress distress means uncomfort unhappiness great worry pain because of the cut and distress because of the awful news he had just heard now customer he cried with pain and worry pain because his ear was cut by mistake and distress because of the awful news that is a strange news he had just heard what was the news that the bank is about to get closed so it's better everybody should take the money out of the bank with one side of his neck still unshorn unshorn means uncleaned unshaved he leaped out of his hair and sped across the road to a general store where there was a telephone and what did he do he dialed said govind ram's number so this customer with one side of his neck still not cut still not shaved he leaped out he jumped out of his chair and ran across the road to a general store where there was a public phone and what did he do he dialed said govind ram's number that is the owner of the bank's number now i hope children this video will be useful for you i will continue with the remaining part of the lesson in my next video keep on watching my channel subscribe to that and keep on watching for latest updates thank you god bless you